Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how long you been doing that? This is my 11th season with him. Damn, what's keeping you there? Uh, the fun. There you go, man. Dallas Mavericks. Man, that must, yeah, that got to be fun, dude. Oh, yeah. Wow. I've danced with them for, yeah, like I said, 11 seasons now. Damn, what's the most interesting thing you've seen? I, I bet you got some stories. 10 days, 10 days in China with the team. Okay. How was that? That uh, was a blast. Nice. Damn. How long ago was that? Uh, three years ago. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So wait a minute, did you meet Dirk Lewinsky? Oh yeah, I know Dirk. Oh, you know Dirk, you got his phone number personal? <laughs> no, no, no personal phone number. Right? <laughs> no, How right. is that dude? How tall is he? Uh, uh, he he's seven foot tall. Oh man. <laughs> That's awesome, man. He's, he's a Gemini too. Yeah. Yeah, man, I heard he's real cool, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, a, he's just even killed. <laughs> I bet, man. Nice. And then you met Jason Terry? Yep. Gotcha. Oh, I remember that, man. I remember back in 2012. Can't forget that year. Dirk Lewinsky was on fire. The whole Mavericks team was damn near unstoppable. 2011. 2011. There we go. I'm like, okay, I remember that. Man, he had everybody mad at him, but also respected him at the same time. This dude was, man, that's when... That's the year I was like, you know what? I respect him so much. I like uh -huh. this dude. Uh -huh. Man, because Kobe Bryant, that's my boy. Yeah. But I remember when they blew the Lakers out, man. Yep, <laughs> Retired Phil Jackson. Right? <laughs> and then, man, they was not scared of the heat. Now, back then, the heat was intimidating, right? Yeah. Math cool. was like, we don't care. We going at y'all. Exactly. And they were older too. Yep. Yeah. There's there no way that team should have won that championship. Right. But that team got it. Yeah, I mean, they Jason, did. Jason Terry, this dude was on fire, man. Tired, Them Jason three, Kidd, Jason JJ Kidd, Barilla. everybody. JJ Barea was a little just annoying little dude. Yep. But he was just good too. Yep. <laughs> I remember Joe. Uh, I'll say Joe Biden. Um, Bynum. Remember what he did to him? Yeah, oh, yeah, man, I don't remember yeah, that. He yeah. hit him on the side of the He was pissed. <laughs> and you know who was who was intimidated by them? Uh, Paul Gasol. He was a little intimidated that year, man. I was like, dude, come on, really? You better go after Dirk Lewinsky. But nope, he was too damn scared, man. <laughs> Kobe Bryant was the only one that was like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, was, I was a big Kobe guy, too. Yeah, man. Yeah. He was a big fan of ours. He was, man. He was trying. He wanted Dirk Lewinsky to go on the Lakers, but yeah. they didn't. Yeah. They didn't make it. Imagine yeah. that. <laughs> nah, that wasn't gonna happen. That wasn't gonna happen. Man, that was the year too. LeBron James was the villain. Once he actually, once he went to the Heat, he was the villain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was that first year that there was that super team. That right. They're the ones that really team. they're the one that really started it. Yeah. <laughs> Tosh and Jamie, yep. LeBron, all of that team. Dude, they had fun on that team. Oh, yeah. Those alley hoops from uh, full yeah. court, half yeah. court. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. The athleticism was ridiculous. Yeah. That's when Stephen Curry was like at his peak. But yeah. <laughs> they were just like, man, Ray Allen, this dude, man. Yeah, <laughs> man, that was a good old times, man. Yeah, that was that was a blast. Right? <laughs> a lot of fun. I, I was in that arena when we won. Oh, I bet you it was crazy. They were doing a watch party at the American Airlines Center. <laughs> and it's a watch party. It's not even the live game. That right. It was floor to ceiling, completely packed. Wow. With fans. Damn. And we were just there and <laughs> that place e I bet it did, man. I can only imagine. Oh, yeah. Dirk Lewinsky's and his freaking fadeaways, man. Oh, yeah. oh just beautiful. Picture oh, perfect, man. Man, I miss that dude playing. <laughs> but all the old heads eventually retire, you know? Yeah. See, I didn't. I dropped a tear when Kobe Bryant, uh, Oh, his last game, man. Oh, yeah. I dropped that tear, oh, man. Yeah. That was a bittersweet, um, year for him but that last game you know he's 60 points to go exactly. out the exactly. only player to do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> michael jordan didn't even do that yeah. <laughs>
any of the three or four times he retired in Georgia. Right, right. You could just tell Kobe put it all out on a line, man. That's what, when you think about Kobe Bryant, you think about strength, determination, that drive. Exactly. This dude even said it, man. Like, while all his teammates were sleeping, he was getting his practice in. He'll wake yeah. up at 2 a.m., practicing at 3, 4 a.m. Yeah. It, and he rarely went out to party. But he said if he did, and he told the guys, y'all going to go, if we're going to go out and party, y'all really want me to go with y'all. He said in an interview. I may, I told them, I don't care how drunk y'all are, y'all better be up and ready to go. <laughs> That's why they hated him so much, man. Yeah. <laughs> Kobe Bryant didn't play, man. He took it. Regular season games or playoff games to him. <laughs> one, of the, one of the ball boys at the Mavericks. Uh, <laughs> it was our first year. It was 2011. Right. Well, something like that. Mm -hmm. We played the Lakers, and Kobe Ooh. had a bad game. Yep. And... He paid the ball kid to sit there in the practice gym with him Damn. until 3 a.m. <laughs> After the game, it was over about 10. Sounds like Kobe. <laughs> and he said he paid him, he just handed him like $6,000 cash. Damn. <laughs> Stay with me. I never heard that story. Yeah. Oh, man. Kobe stayed Kobe. at the American Airlines Center shooting baskets for a good five, six hours after the game was over just because he was pissed. Damn, man. Sounds like that's why I said Kobe, man, he was on another level, man. Oh, yeah. Man, like, man, Kobe. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain Kobe, man. It was, like, ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, man. I saw Dirk doing that, too. I mean, Dirk was doing that, too? There, there yeah. times. Dirk was there at midnight, 1 o'clock. Oh, I love it, man. Shooting first one in the gym last one to leave exactly. that's how you do that's it man it. see that's why i've learned that from kobe when he said he woke up at 2 a.m to get his practice in i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna wake up at 1 a.m yeah. to get my outside cardio my workout in at 2 a.m yeah. and i've been doing this for the past year and a half yeah. consistently yeah. you know i've had my moments i can't be just like kobe because kobe was on he was an animal yeah. i had my moments where because see kobe the difference with kobe he uh he never listened to his body until like 2016, right? <laughs> I mean, he, well, well, well. Once he got that Achilles injury, he was like, okay, yeah. okay, I gotta listen to my body. Yeah. He was one of those who ignore his body, uh -huh. which is why I respected him because he played through so many injuries, this and that, and the other. Now, I will say this: I only respect LeBron because he actually listens to his body. Yes. <laughs> I will say that LeBron is a big ass crybaby, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong; he he may be the best player in the NBA. You know, his his agility, his his size, and all of that stuff. But this dude has some issues. Yeah. <laughs> That's what bothers my mind. Tell people when it comes to LeBron James, how you gonna be that damn good, that big, but yet you horrible at free throws? It's like, why can't you be like Kobe Bryant and practice? You could just practice your free throws for one hour every day. Yep. Just one hour. Yep. <laughs> and when it comes to clutch, he's iffy. He's have his moments, you know. He's had his moments, man. <laughs> and Stephen Curry, don't get me started with Stephen Curry. This dude is a cheat code on, on 2K. <laughs> Kevin Durant, yeah, man, come back from that Achilles and still go at it. That's crazy, man. Oh man, but the NBA is not the same. Once Kobe Bryant retired, man, I will tell you, it is. It has not been the same, man. <laughs> so you still see uh, Dirk after after retiring? Yeah, he's still hanging around. Nice. Every once in a while, he's not gonna become a coach or anything. No, <laughs> not at the not at the time. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. I don't think I'm that short of a guy, but when you stand up next to Kristaps Porzingis, 
Yes, definitely. Like seven foot four. <laughs> seven foot four, damn. Yeah. You feel just a little short. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine that. Shaquille O'Neal, yeah. Kevin Durant, Dirk Lewinsky, all them dudes. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Like, I love how Kevin Durant, he doesn't want to embrace that he's seven foot. Nope. Right? So what does he put it under? Six, nine? I think he puts it under something, man. And, it's, and they actually says it, too. I'm like, dude, why can't you just embrace your tall? <laughs> That's because he really doesn't want to play center. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you still LeBron James. At least LeBron James is playing all playing positions. All five, right? right <laughs> all five right now. I think he's better when he's center. Yes. Because then he doesn't have to he doesn't have to always handle the ball. And Russell Westbrook, I know he's been hit or miss throughout his career, but this dude has been off this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, who was it last week that got trouble? The Kings got trouble for uh, clowning on it last week. <laughs> really? What they say? They were talking about a shot and they started playing cold as ice. <laughs> And they put up a big graphic at the end of the game, cold as ice player of the game, Russell right. Westbrook, and put up his guy with like three points. Oh, that's crazy. He knows he's been off too. I think I seen a highlight where he finally hit a three. Yeah. Or he got an and one and he was even surprised. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think he I think he acknowledged, or somebody acknowledged one of the uh, interviewers, that he has no turnovers for like the past week. Or I don't know. I forgot. Somebody say he has no turnovers. And you know him, he's always turning over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And I love how Dwayne Wade tried to do his farewell like Kobe Bryant. It's like, dude, your farewell was not even close to Kobe Bryant. Like, people, oh. like, you had some people who liked you and respect you, but not like Kobe. Oh, this yeah. dude had the opposing team cheering him oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean same thing with Dirk in his last right his, yeah they had teams like stop in the middle of the game hey Dirk's coming in for the very last time right y'all give y'all give a little respect to this guy oh this man 21 years playing in this arena damn coming here to play this team what was that what was that highlight I, for, I, I forgot that Dirk did on his last uh year like his last year playing, it was something they they acknowledged him. Is it because he hit like a he passed somebody on scoring or he, he hit? To, uh, yeah, what happened? Well, at the time he had gotten the fifth all time on oh, scoring list. Yes. Now he's sitting in six because LeBron passed him. Yep, but yep. But there's no one else, no one active even close. Wait a minute, where's LeBron right now? He's at fifth. He's at fifth. He, he may be. He may. Have I thought he was fourth. at three or two. No, he's not a three or two yet. So wait a minute. So he hasn't passed Michael Jordan yet. I don't think so. I no. thought he passed Kobe. Uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he passed Kobe because it was it, that was a time where Kobe seen LeBron for the last time, and then not eight hours later, allegedly Kobe passed away. Right? I think that was the day he passed Kobe Bryant or something on the scoring list, but just like four. <laughs> no, he just recently passed. Oh no, he's he's three. LeBron's three. I knew it. I knew it. And yeah. then Michael Jordan's two, right? Or he passed Michael Jordan as Michael well. Michael Jordan is five. Oh, Dirk Nowitzki. Yes, is six. Okay. Carl Malone is two. Is two. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, which nobody's ever gonna catch Kareem Abdul. -Jabbar. You know what's crazy? Where's Where's Kareem at right now? He's number one. He's got 38,387 points. And LeBron is where? 36,289. Le LeBron's going to do it. You, I, think, you think he's going to be able to stick around that much longer? You know what's crazy? This is what's crazy about LeBron. He even said it. I don't know. I think it was like two, three weeks ago in an interview. He said he still has another five plus years. That's what he said. <laughs> He'll catch Carl Malone. Da, 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 da. I think next I, year probably. You know what? The reason why I really think he's going to do it because they're counting on him to be the best player in the NBA. Oh yeah. So for him to retire, he has to go out as number one on the scoring list. He has to 
because he's considered the best. And he's capable of doing it because you see glimpse of him slowing down, just glimpse of it. But this dude is still averaging what? What is he averaging right now? 32? Yeah. Yeah, like dude. He's still averaging the same. He, he's a little, he's about 650 away from Carl Malone. Yep. For two. Mm hmm. Well, he's got another 2,000 to go for. That's possible, man. That is possible because how many points does he average a year? Oh. That's the thing right yeah. there. Yeah. That's what you got to think about. <laughs> now, Stephen Curry on the other hand, is he number one on a three point list? I think he's, I think because he, he just recently passed Ray Allen, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Stephen Curry definitely going to be number one on the third three pointer. But the way he's hitting these threes, there's a possibility he'll pass LeBron. Like, he could make it number one, Stephen Curry. Depending on, because he doesn't, when it comes to Stephen Curry, he doesn't, he doesn't really get injured like that. I mean, he had a couple of injuries in the past, but nothing too crazy to the point where, like, Clay Thompson, nothing like that. And all he does is sit at the three-point line. Now, he'll still go and do some stuff and go in line, go in the paint, layups, crazy layups and all of that. But I can see Stephen Curry, because he's not like Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, he, he, he does, he does, he's like Allen Iverson. You know what I'm saying? He does, he, he, he uses too much energy. And Stephen Curry doesn't use a lot of energy, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah, I can see LeBron James definitely being number one. Either retire shortly after or something. It would have to take LeBron James to get an Achilles injury or something crazy to stop him. Because yeah. <laughs> he takes care of his body too much. Because most of the time, I don't know what. Do you know what was his biggest injury? Because I think he just had sprain, sprain ankle. Nothing yeah. too crazy, you know. I don't know that he's ever had like a major injury. Right. <laughs> I think he's only been out of the game maybe three weeks tops, a month. I have no idea. I remember he was out for a little while. Yeah, on the he's had a couple of times he was out for a month or two. Yeah, see? <clears throat> There's never been an ACL tear that, you know, yep. puts him out for a season. Mm -hmm. But I think that's coming. <laughs> you think so? Because of, of the age, huh? The, age. the mileage. The mileage. Because in NBA, in NBA age, yeah, he's older in the NBA years. Yeah. So you're right about that. You know what I really wanted to see? I wanted to see Kobe Bryant and Steve Nash, man. Why the heck? Steve Nash was a beast before he went to the Lakers. But once he went to the Lakers, he was like, he was just declined. Yeah. Big time, man. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Or that Chris Paul. Where they blocked that, and then Chris yep. Paul was gonna remember that. Yep. <laughs> man, good old times, man. And it sucks. It sucked playing Derrick Rose, man. Oh, remember God. that? That ACL, man. Oh. He's finally starting to look somewhat back to form in the last couple of years. He's showing some glimpses of his old self. Yeah. He, he's actually like looking 10, better. Years later. Yes. He's looking better than Restbrook. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Derrick Rose, that was the biggest flop and waste of money. I know, Nike, man. Nike paid him so much money for his lifetime contract. Right. And he got injured. And he never showed back up. There was never a... He only had, like, what? Derrick Rose again. Yep. He only had, like, what, three good years? Yeah. Yep. I remember that man because everybody wanted that matchup. Derrick okay. Rose versus Westbrook. Yep. <laughs> and they we never really got to see it. Just like we wanted Kobe Lakers versus Miami Heat, LeBron James and D Wade. Yep. We wanted that one too, man. Yep. But back to the Mavericks, man. Well, nobody expected Mavs in 2011. No. We were everybody was shocked. <laughs> the whole world. We're like, wait, what? We were 
underdog to every single one of those series. Right. Nobody expected us to be anything. We were supposed to go one and done. Yep. But we knew we were like, Dirk, we gotta we gotta work on him, man. Something about this dude. He and he went. He was consecutive, right? How many free throws was he consecutive again oh before he missed one? Yeah. Oh, I think it was like 60? Yeah. Something like that. I don't remember that, man. <laughs> yeah, he was unstoppable, man. Nobody couldn't stop him, no matter what. Man, I remember even during that time frame, Miami Heat versus OKC, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, yeah. that was always a good matchup, too. Yeah, James Harden at that time too. Yep. That was before James Harden left. <laughs> that was my James Harden left. Yep. Isn't this what was it at the time where Kevin Durant was just like over it when they verse when they did versus the Mavs? OKC versus the Mavs. Yep. That's what Kevin Durant was like. He gave up. Yep. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Y'all yep. actually they actually had it too. Yep. <laughs> what the heck happened, man? Yeah, man, it was crazy, but that was a good old times, man. I can't believe it, man. You work for the mad. That's awesome. <laughs> so now what y'all doing? Y'all rebuilding? Oh, we're back in. Y'all good? With Luca. And okay, okay. KP. Okay. So Tim, Tim Hardaway Jr. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's been amazing. Uh, Gloria Finney Smith. Okay. So what's 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 Mad's goal right now? This I know end goal is always championship, but yeah, what they trying course, to do now? Of course, uh, I'd be happy with a couple of rounds in the playoffs. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, the last what? couple of years the Clippers have been the thorn in our side. Right, put us out in the first round. Yep. But the Clippers are gone this year. Yes. Because um, Kawhi Leonard went out with an ACL. Really? Oh, and, it's over, man. And then Paul George went out with his elbow. Oh. The rest of the season. Oh man, y'all got it. So yeah, we don't have to worry about the damn Clippers this year. So who y'all got to focus on? Phoenix. The Phoenix. Uh huh. Uh, Golden State. Golden They're State. They're back to being fucking Golden State. I don't know how <laughs> Steph Curry took two years off and lost five years and right. played it like he did five years ago. Right. I don't know how that happened. Same thing with Clay Thompson. Right. He came out and he was. Did he score 23 points, 22? Yeah. On his yeah. first game back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, man? <laughs> right. He took two years off. You're <laughs> supposed to age. You're supposed to come Great. out looking like a grandpa on the He's board. aging right. gracefully. <laughs> yeah. They found some fountain of youth out in Golden State. Y'all got, 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 got some out. problems, man. Ahead of y'all, y'all got some problems, man. Yeah. Denver's always really good. Yep. But really, above that, that's okay. That's it. That's it. And yeah. You got the top three in the West, and then four through ten is a clusterfuck of about a game and a half. Right. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And then who else y'all got to focus on? You got to focus on Golden State, Phoenix. That's really. That's it. pretty just it right now. Yeah. Okay. Golden State, Phoenix, and Denver. Okay. And then what's y'all what's y'all record right now? We're at twenty four and nineteen. Okay, which puts y'all on what, what are the what we're, number of the seed? Four, we're fourth or fifth. Oh, not bad at all. Western Conference. Yep. Yeah. And then is Lakers making it? Uh, barely. Barely. <laughs> exactly. They're, sit, they're sitting at like eight or nine. Okay. Okay. Man. Hey. Well, I'm out here. You know, I'm visiting. You know, I'm yeah. living in Arizona. I, okay. I don't go for Phoenix, but I know they're doing good. But let's see what Dallas do, Dallas Mavericks do this year, man. <laughs> That's going to be good. We are 25 and 19. Oh, okay, good. Uh, our next closest below us is Denver at 22 and 20. Oh, okay, okay. Memphis is doing good this year. I hadn't kept up with the Grizzlies. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. We, just, we just broke their 11-game winning streak. Is Paul Gasol brother still on there? Uh, <laughs> you right over here? Yeah, Mosquito. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember Paul Gasol brother on there, but yeah, man. It was a good combo, man. Good yeah, talking to you. Yeah, man. Definitely. Hey, man, you stay focused with Maverick. Hey, and tell Dirk Lewinsky I say what's up. Your little driver. Have a good one. You too, man.
Man, that was awesome, y'all. Can you believe that? This dude literally works for the Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks. He knows Dirk Lewis. He knows all of them. Man, that was such an amazing conversation, man. I appreciate that. I love it, man. It's your boy, Unique Mind, the original Unique Mind. Comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell on the side and click all. Gone.